Roll start a car. There comes a point in your life when you will end up with a car that won't start. Usually, if you encounter this problem, you can use a bunch of jumper cables and jump start your car back into life. But what if you left the jumper cables somewhere else and you find yourself stuck? The next best thing is to roll start the car. This method is also commonly known as push start. It is an effective way to get some juice into your car's engine. Roll starting a car is a perfect method to use during an emergency, but make sure that you only pursue this method when tow trucks and jumper cables are out of the question. Below are the steps on how to roll start your car the proper way. It only works on manual. Unfortunately, if you are driving an automatic transmission, then you cannot roll start your car. This only works for manual transmission, since you will need to step on the clutch to get the car into gear. Try it on automatic and you might damage your car in the process. Make sure that your car has the emergency brake engaged before you try this. The emergency brake will prevent the car from rolling off before you are ready to start the car. Find someone to push the car. If you are alone and driving, you need to find other people to help you push the car. You cannot do it by yourself because you will need to step on the clutch to pull this off successfully. You need to push the car at a speed that will eventually engage the transmission. Clear the road ahead of you, as you might get a sudden burst of speed once the car is in gear. Make sure the ignition is on. Even if the car is showing no signs of life, turn the ignition to the on spot. Remember that when the key is on the start position, it is turned all the way to the end. The on position is the notch right before the start position. Make sure the key is positioned here when you begin the rolling start. Start rolling. Once you have everything place, release the emergency brake while you are stepping on the clutch. Check to see that the car is in gear and is ready to power start once it gets the jump it needs. Step on the clutch as you roll through the road, and keep the steering wheel steady as you go. Once it speeds up, let go. You will feel the car get into the groove as it gains speed. Once the speed is right, pop the clutch while making sure that the car is running in the first or the second gear. Setting the car on first gear will provide a jerky start as compared to the second gear. The car's transmission will normally kick in once the speed reaches about 5 to 10 miles per hour. The rolling start may not be effective at the first try. If it doesn't, you may need to speed up the car more. 
simply engage the emergency brake again and repeat the steps above until the transmission does its work.